Dwayne Lucas, the smartest guy on the backside. Now, he'll tell you that, and I'm smiling as I say that, but he might be the smartest guy on the backside. He will be training for the Derby when he's 90 years old. A couple years ago, I go up to him, and he's been in the same barn forever, and he doesn't see me. I go, I'm looking for the oldest living trainer, and he turns around without missing a beat and says, I'm looking at the oldest living sportscaster, D. Wayne Lucas. When I got here in 1981, yeah, I'd been to the track, but I didn't know horse racing. And Woody Stevens, who's been long gone, God rest his soul, won five Belmonts in a row, one of the greatest trainers of all time. For some reason, he took a liking to me, and I learned so much from him. So I go up to him one day, and we did this uh, story on TV, and I said, hey, Woody, how do you pick a derby winner? He said, pick a horse that's running like a bat out of blank, because that's how Woody used to talk, and if the horse didn't win, if he came in second in a prep race, pick him. Okay, so I pick Gato del Sol. Gato del Sol finished second in the bluegrass. Gato del Sol wins the derby, and I'm thinking it's easy. The next one I picked was years later in 1988. And then I went a long time, honestly, without picking a derby winner. And I think I went through a streak recently, I picked five out of six. But anyone who says this is easy to pick, you're crazy. It might sound corny, but it's really true. Those of us, and there are so many people behind the scenes that you don't see, those of us that work on the Derby, besides it being a major project for the station, we have a great deal of pride. We want this day to be perfect, not only for you, but for us. We want to put on a great show for you. And it is amazing how many people through the years who work so hard through the rain, through mud, through, I think, didn't we have snow one time? Whatever, the weather is crazy and we deal with it, and we do it out of love, it's our job, and for you.